Good evening, YouTube. General Soul bringing you our Cubs starting pitcher and MLB the show. And it has been a while. I do not even remember what we did last time. Um, sorry, I kind of got into working on Persona 3 Portable, which is still ongoing. And uh, when Diablo 4 Season 2 started, I kind of got locked into that. I just got to level 100 on that and I'm just kind of now just taking a break on that so I figured hey I've been playing baseball today so let's do a game ah we're at the last game before the all-star break okay so probably more than likely my last game in double a and then we go to triple a Oh yeah, we're in the second half of the season for some reason. I don't know how, how that works, but whatever. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Minor League Baseball from the AA level coming up. It's the Birmingham Barons and the Tennessee Smokies. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So almost ready to get underway. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Tony Woodson. Chris, what are you looking for from him? A really good outing for him last time. Scattered two runs, was attacking hitters, getting ahead in the count. Great performance. We'll see if he can do it again in this one. Okay, all set to go. And now the right fielder, Misael Gonzalez. The wind of the pitch. That's a strike, and we are underway. <coughs> Technically wasn't a strike, but I'll take it. You'll one. Nope, ball one. Hey, no outs here. Okay, I have other pitches, asshole. Comes up empty, that's strike two. And today is draft day. I'm not Seeing even a fucking no. In terms of no, the we're of the doing slider. And Fuck the you. Of these teams. It's also changed a lot in terms of the immediacy of finding out. I mean, what was it? Carrier pigeon was how you found out about being drafted back when you were selected, right? Well, the fans today day. may not He's realize not even that because old. we have you know such exposure on the internet and, and the network sports and everything hey. else. You find out right away. But when I was drafted back in 1993, I maybe found out you know later in the day I was drafted in the morning that I was drafted by the San Francisco Giants. So regardless, I think the feeling go, is guys. the same. No matter whether you find out right away or you find out a day later, you're just so excited to have been drafted by a professional baseball team and have the opportunity to pursue your dream. So 1993, cell phones weren't really too common. Internet hadn't really started off yet. So he probably would have gotten a call on the home phone. One ball, two strikes. Got him that time. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're getting with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two- or three-run homer. Two outs, base is empty. Hunts I don't even know what he called because he'd already yesterday afternoon. I'm gonna do the change up probably a mistake in there and it's on one okay <laughs> two outs now nope. wanted one. That was a strike, but he gave me two that weren't. I don't think so. We haven't done a curveball yet. Righty to the plate. 
Foul ball still a one and two count. Curveball didn't curve. Oh, now you want to do a curveball again. Here comes a pinch. Fouls it off, still one and two. And the right-hander deals. Got him! Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. All set for the start of the inning. Now the third baseman, Ryan Ramos. All right, what do we got? You want to start off with a curveball? The why to kick the pitch. Hey. Going one. <laughs> go, buddy. Right hander kicks deals. He swings and fouls one off. Okay. Curveball again. Here's the 0-2. Hit connect on the curveball struck him out. Four in a row. staff has been merciless against him in this one. I mean, he struck out six times in this series, and we've seen no adjustment out of him so far. Now the left fielder, Craig Didolo. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. In there for strike one. Okay. Hey, we got one. Next offering is fouled back. No score here in the second. Back door the slider. <clears throat> Got him looking. Frozen with a back door slider. Tremendous job of bringing that ball back over the plate. He gets just enough of it to get the call. And tell you what, as a hitter, it starts out of the zone. It looks really far away. And for it to catch the outside corner, you just have to tip your cap to the pitcher. Now it's the shortstop, Jose Rodriguez. Dicky do. And downstairs. Hey, two down here. Next offering is foul back. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And a pitch. And that's in for a strike. Cuts and misses. Six a in a out. row. Nothing doing here this half. We go to the bottom of inning number two. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Welcome back. And yeah, the batter now, Sebastian Rivero. The catcher, Sebastian. Rivero goes six foot one, 210 pounds, and he was born in Venezuela. And he pumps it a strike. Next pitch is inside. Ball one. Here it comes. And now it's even up. It's a good take. I definitely would have swung on that just to make sure, protect the plate. Righty delivers. 
Swing and a miss, struck him out. Seven strikeouts Just in a row. Absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already, so he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Yeah, it's a good pace for sub for a record. I'd have to look up to see how many strikeouts in a row is the record. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And another ball. That's a strike. That is so obviously a fucking strike, asshole. Don't you screw me out of eight in a row because you don't want to call strikes. Swing and a ball popped up. And that'll fall for a base hit. You screwed Swing me out of eight low. strikeouts in a row because you can't call a fucking strike. So have been anything but fun at the plate for him. So that one has to feel good. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there. And he found a way. And it's fouled away. Goes down swinging for the strikeout. Could, Could have been number nine in a row. Came inside with that two strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know, a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Two down now. Damn. So I was just checking to see what the record for most strikeouts in a row was. It's 10. If that umpire had been calling strikes right and I gotten that guy, I'd be going for number nine right now. Oh, I see. He's a fan of Birmingham. He's giving him a massage. And now it's going to be Misael Gonzalez. That one's in there on one. Gonzalez getting the start in right. Hitting lead off in today's game. And yeah, the person and who has that record is Randy Johnson. Plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games at the Belt and Fires. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Fernandez off of first with two away. And a foul ball, he stays alive. <laughs> and the pitch. Swings through it for the K. Slider got him for a strike three. So one hit is all they get. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. We're tied, nothing, nothing. Back here at the ballpark we now, Gilbert Sanchez. The second baseman, Gilbert. We got nobody. Sanchez. Woodson back to work. Small lead. And there's the strike. Well, these guys <laughs> just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay with uh, the A lot of these pitches are in the zone, so you can to. kiss my ass. The 2 That's a laser base hit. Hey, no runner, no runner. He would have been dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far, no runs across either, and he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. 
So now the DH spot, Hanser Alberto. That Eight. one finds the zone. 0 and 1. The 0 1. Out to short. Sneaks oh. through. Base what the hit. fuck, third base? He just sat there and said, Oh, yeah, I was out. supposed to field. Base hits for these guys here. Didn't make quality oh, contact on the ground ball Whoa. to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. If he had taken a step or two and then reached out, First he would have caught it. No outs. Stepping in, Brian Ramos. Because I'd gotten exactly what I wanted. I hit it, got a hit to that side of the infield, just third base, to forgot that he's a fucking fielder. Wrong button. Kicks and fires. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Uh, now I'll do the pitch that they wanted last time. Swing and a miss. One and two. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Pretty electric stuff showing up on the mound right now. I mean, in the double-digit strikeouts, he should be able to rack up some more before he's done in this one. And you know, not many of these hitters have had much of an answer for what he's offering out there. Two on, one out. And now, Craig Didolo. And that's in there for strike one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Ending, ending, double play is what I want. Yeah, now the one. Fouls one off out of play, back to our left. All right. No, well, if we do that, I want it up and in. Got him looking. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Oh, that's almost just not fair with that pitch. I mean, until the very last second, looked like it was going to be well in off the plate, but the arm side run brought it right back to catch the inside corner. Tell you what, frustrating as a hitter, you give up on the pitch. I honestly don't know what you're supposed to do with that as a hitter other than just tip your cap as you walk back to the dugout. I'm going to strike him out. Come on, diggy dude, let's go. Rodriguez in the box now. Take strike one. Oh, I didn't like where that ball went. Going to now. That one missed. Ooh. Really good slider. He's up there just Ooh. hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Swings and misses. Struck Got him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. And welcome back. New inning getting started. And here's the catcher, Sebastian Rivero. Rivero. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Okay. And now the count Ooh. is even. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. And now it's 1 and 2. Lifted in the air out to left. It's a first out that's not a strikeout. Canongo makes the play. Then there's one down. Now batting. 
Xavier Fernandez now at the plate. Fernandez. One for one with a single so far. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. And there's a foul ball. Nope. Slider. Away. Oh, and two now. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Now two away. Just a great slider right there. And I think the key for pitchers and what hitters don't want to see is if a pitcher misses with that pitch, that he misses off the edge of the strike zone rather than in the middle of the strike zone. And right there, excellent execution, and it finished up in a perfect spot. James Beer digs in now. In there, and it's 0-1. The wind and the pitch. Line drive. Ball, ball, ball. Casey makes the grab, and that'll end right. the inning. Offense 13 strikeouts. There. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Smokies out front here, one to nothing. I'm on a good pace for the re MLB record, but for double right, A record, to no, ain't gonna happen. Number six. Now it's the right fielder, Misael Gonzalez. And for anyone who wants to know what the uh, double A record for strikeouts in one game is, 27. Slider clips the zone. I'm impressed by the number. I don't know if that was an extra innings game, or if that was a perfect game. Just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. On the ground to third. Oh, you remembered that you actually had the field, huh? Swings it across. Yeah. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Yeah, now I'm remembering that side of the, the field the sucks. With another ground ball. Good execution. Now the number two hitter, Yolbert Sanchez. One for two. Hey, come on. Get ahead, stay ahead. Sanchez, 26 years old, <coughs> and he was born in Cuba. On the ground to the left, Jordan. On the run, sends it over to first. Two quick outs to open the top of the six. Now batting, the designated hitter, Hanser Alberto. Now here is Hanser Alberto. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bunt from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that bond. All right, bump and this. One. Fought off foul. <coughs> now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift and a pitch. And down on strikes. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. No runs, no hits, no errors. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Smokies on top one to nothing. Welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Brian Ramos. Brian Ramos. Woodson back to work. And here's a slow roller. I wouldn't call that a roller. It kind of bounced. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. The left fielder, number 11, Craig. Here's the left fielder, Craig Didolo, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. Swings through that one. 0 oh, 1. Next offering is fouled back. All right. Hey, we got one. 
<clears throat> that misses. That was about where I wanted it. He just didn't chase. All right. Guys, really protecting the plate. And a pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. All right, bud. Quit fighting it. Accept the inevitability. Change up. Off the mark there. It's two and two. Got him. Gonna miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Man, a good splitter can be devastating, can it? I mean, that thing got halfway to the plate and just did a nosedive. Once you commit your swing, there's just no adjusting your bat path to get down to that ball. And the ball dips below your bat like it's doing the limbo. I see you do the limbo, boo. You get down there, man. Now at the plate, Jose Rodriguez. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. And that will end the inning. Ladies Nothing across here this half. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. The Smokies have the lead, one to nothing. Ready to begin the eighth. Here's the catcher, Sebastian Rivero. Sebastian Rivero. This might be my last inning, not because. It I'm not doing well or because I'm tired, but because it's close enough for a save. <clears throat> well, I was thinking of doing one, second or third, but I want the equipment pack. <clears throat> so no runs. The pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected. And the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Kicks First, they use. were swinging at too many mistake pitches Goodbye outside right of the zone. There. Now they're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Except that he swung at that, and it wasn't a mistake. Swings through that one for strike two. <coughs> Don't know he where he thought that was going. Chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. The tying run at the plate. Fights that one away, still one and two. The pitch. Yeah, he's swinging a miss. One gone here. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Any leadoff base runner really makes If my count is right, that's 15. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Xavier Fernandez, the next to hit. First offering, and it just misses. Yeah, this was the guy who broke my strikeout streak. Because the ump couldn't call Pitch. strikes. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Come on, guys. Looking to get the tying run on base. Oh, and now two and one. And he deals. Ball three. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Here comes a pitch. And the tying run is on base. 
It feels to me like his time on the mound is running short, it's starting to show some signs of fatigue. So we'll see how much longer they let him go. One down. Here's the center fielder, James Beard. Oh. Up the middle. Fires to second for one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Well, there's a no double play, but right he there. ain't getting nice any further. Fair down, make the pitch, get the All right, this guy has some speed. Excellent. I need to watch him. So the batting order turns over. Misael <laughs> Gonzalez getting ready to hit. Big situation right here. You got some speed. He's fast, there. but no, he no the tying stealing run. ability. The question is, do you send him and get him in the scoring position, or do you let that batter swing and maybe put you ahead? And that's in there at the knees. Well, in this situation, the hitter knows that he's got to find a pitch that he can drive in order to drive in that tying run all the way from first base. So if he can't do that, keep the line moving through a walk or just a base hit. But you've got to stay within yourself. Right hander kicks deals. Late with the swing there. He finds himself in a tough situation early. Just kind of trying to simplify it. Take a knock the other way if you can. I'm not doing what he called. We're doing a slider. Righty to the plate. That misses the zone. Okay. One and two to count. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And I think my day's done. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Vinny Natoli gets handed the rock out of the pen. Now this is an extremely confident pitcher. He loves the pressure. Actually likes the one-run game better than a comfortable three-run save opportunity because Thank that's you. when he pitches his best. Well, this one was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high-scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty. All right, one and zero. Oh, we are eleven and today. one. The final one to nothing for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chambi saying so long. So we went eight innings, gave up three hits, 17 strikeouts. My count was off. So if I had pitched the ninth inning and struck out the side, I would have tied Roger Clemens and I believe Randy Johnson and Kerry Wood, I think, are the people. I know Kerry Wood and Roger Clemens for sure. I think Rod, uh, Randy Johnson has also struck out 20 in a game, and that is the record. Uh, we gave up one walk, no runs, and it is all-star break time. So I have a feeling that by the time I play my next game, I am going to be moved up to the AAA. So what we will do for the next game, because I am, let's take a look at the stats and everything since this is probably my last day in double-A. We won the first half. We are 7-5 and five so far in the second half. We are first place. Our, for batting average, we have three of the top eight hitters in batting average. For hits, we have tied for fourth. At bats no one doubles we have the league leader in doubles and then we also have someone in sixth place basically fourth triples we have three of the top eight in triples home runs no we don't have anyone rbis we don't have anyone runs scored we don't have anyone stolen bases we have the eighth best stealer Walks, we have the fifth best, technically fourth. <clears throat> On base percentage, we have two of the top five. Slugging percentage, we have two of the top five again. 
OPS, we have two of the top five. Wins, I am the league leader, and we have someone basically tied for third. Losses, I've only given up that one loss. I am the league leader, I'm tied for it. And it's funny, after the All-Star break, we will face the Braves for the first time. I probably will not be here anymore. Saves, we have the number two save leader. ERA, I have a ridiculously low ERA. Home runs allowed. I am tied for third. And we have fifth place as well. Shutouts, I should be up there with like three or four shutouts, but oh well. In fact, I if I could have finished that last game, that could have been my fifth shutout if they had actually let me pitch those games. Strikeouts, I'm almost at 200. Second place is almost a hundred below me. And I'm not a strikeout pitcher. It's like, what the fuck? Complete games, again, I should be leading the league. Innings pitched, I am leading the league. Walks allowed, yeah, I've only given up seven. Uh, whip, I it's again ridiculously low. And there we go. Uh, if we look at the statistics, <coughs> we're gonna look at just me. I'm 11 and one, no saves, 123 and two thirds innings. Seven walks given up, 195 strikeouts, an ERA of 0.44, a whip of 0.48, 17 games, all complete, are all started. The win percentage is 917, 16 quality starts because the one that wasn't a quality start, the manager took me out even though I was doing really well. Uh, complete game, one complete game, one shutout. Uh, those are those don't matter. We've allowed 52 hits, six runs, three uh, all earned. We've allowed three home runs. We've hit one hit, one batter. May or may not have been on purpose. Uh, no wild pitches, and we have a WAR of 6.8. So essentially, by all all stats, the Smokies won almost seven games because I was in. We average 14.19 strikeouts per nine innings. We average half a walk per... We basically average a walk every other game. We give up a home run uh, like point two, like less than a... We basically average giving up a home run every four games. Uh, FIP is point thirty four. ERC is negative point two one. Power finesse ratio is 1.63. Uh, these don't ask me what they mean. I don't know. I've never batted. So, yeah. That's probably our double A career. Uh, All star game. I didn't. <sighs> I'm voted to be the starter, but I pitched the game just before the All-Star game. Literally the day before, I went eight innings. I'll probably end up doing three innings anyway, even though, in all honesty, I don't think that that would actually happen in real life. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Feel free to subscribe for more. You can follow me on Twitch, where I do stream MLB The Show and other games. I'll see you guys next time.